Hi everyone, Gina here with Balanced Body Solutions and I am doing a second part to the safe pacemaker exercises that I started on the, the previous video. And I'm still gonna follow my precautions with this, which my doctor gave me for six weeks, which is not lifting over five pounds, as well as nothing um, over shoulder level on the lifting. So these will all be within those precautions for you guys as well. Um, again, some doctors are a little more lenient than others, but it will definitely stay within the kind of the most um, conservative uh, precautions potentially. So I'm doing pretty well. I'm four weeks out at this point. Um, really not having any pain other than just some tenderness on the incision. And then if something's really pressing on the pacemaker, maybe because I don't have a lot of body fat, I don't know, but it can definitely get uncomfortable. So for me, the biggest issue is a sports bra. So I've been sporting a new style with basically one strap on, one strap I just have off and kind of tucked under there and it's been helping me a lot. So um, other than that, I'm actually doing pretty darn well. So we're gonna start with um, just kind of a general mobility one. This is actually, really all of these technically you could do the first week um, with some light weight or even with no weight. Um, one is just some shoulder rolls, super easy, just feels good to do. This is something you could do a lot throughout the day just to kind of keep things moving. I'm holding some three pound weights here, but again, depending on where you are and your recovery, you don't have to use weights with that. Now, the second thing we're gonna do is kind of really work on shoulder blade stuff. That was my biggest concern going into this, you know, having that physical therapy background. I know what can happen when you immobilize for too long. Um, scar tissue can build, which can limit uh, range of motion permanently, as well as just significant weakness in the shoulder joint itself, as well as the shoulder girdle and everything that kind of helps and assists. So I, I, last time I talked a little bit about some of the shoulder blade stuff, and that's really what I want to kind of go over again today. So this obviously works on some good shoulder blade movement too, but the next one is just working on some rows. So bending over, making sure if you're doing bent over rows that you want your back nice and flat. You are not curving like this and trying to do a row. So you really have to keep your back nice and flat. And you're just gonna pull up towards your chest. You can do around 10, 15 repetitions. You can repeat that several times. Another option would be from this position, you're gonna turn here and you could do a high row. This will target just a slightly different muscle group. Same thing here though, nice flat back, not letting that roll, keeping it flat here. And then the last one is like a, a reverse fly or a T, whatever you wanna call it. So that would be bent over and then arms coming out to the side this way. This one is tough even when you have not had any type of shoulder surgery or pacemaker. So that may be one where you'll need to just put the weights down and then focus on really getting some great range of motion, really stretch and work through there. Because if you're finding that you're only going right through here, I would probably do a little bit less on the weight or take that away altogether. So hopefully this guys gives you, gives you guys a little bit additional information that can help you continue to progress in your pacemaker recovery. I hope that helps. 